Day dear traders, let us review the economic events of the past week. The US dollar index finished last week on a corrective pullback. No significant macroeconomic data were released in the first three days of the week and the dollar traded sideways. On Thursday, retail sales for December were published, indicating a decline for the second month in a row. The 0.8% fall was higher than expected. Investors were disappointed as they expected only a 0.4% decline. They anticipated that households would have more disposable income left after gasoline prices fell by 40% in US since July 2014. Because of the weak retail sales, major investment banks cut their growth forecast for first quarter US GDP from 3 to 2.2 to 2.5%. Some of them even do not rule out the revision of the second estimate of the fourth quarter GDP in 2014 down to 1.0% from 26 announced in the first estimate. All other more or less important US macroeconomic indicators of the week were also soft. Meanwhile, the European economy performance on the contrary was quite good. Particularly, the German trade balance in December and the country's fourth quarter GDP outperformed the expectations. Flash quarterly GDP for the Eurozone was also better than expected. It underpinned the Euro. This week, the most important US information will be published on Wednesday. FOMC meeting minutes, building permits, housing starts, PPI and industrial production. In our opinion, the forecasts are generally positive. However, the US dollar index dynamics will most likely depend on the Fed statement, which is hard to predict. Data of lesser importance will be released on Thursday and Friday. Unemployment claims in the US, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, Conference Board Leading Index and Markets Manufacturing PMI. We think that their forecasts are more neutral. European economic indicators will be announced these days as well. They may perform better than the American ones. Therefore, the euro may rise on Thursday and Friday if the official data come out in line with the economy's expectations and there is no bad news from Greece. This was all for this week. Thank you and see you next week.